Let's look at example 6.2. says find the area of the region between two curves. We have f of x, which is the quadratic 9 minus x squared over 2. And we have the function g of x, which is 6 minus x. Now they have graphed that for us, but I would like to take a moment and discuss how we got that graph. So our f of x function is 9 minus x squared over 4. I'm just going to rewrite it like that. So what do we know about that? Well, we know that the center is at 0, 9. So that's where this point here is, 0, 9. Um, the, uh, that's the vertex, 0, 9. It's going downward. It has intercepts. Uh, these intercepts right here are the square root of 9 fourths. So uh, the square root of 9 fourths is, well, let me show you. So you would have 9 minus x squared over 4. Oh, not 4, 9 fourths. The 4 would multiply when we set that equal to 0. If we multiply everything by 4, we get 36. x squared equals 0. We get x squared equals 36. So x is plus or minus 6. So you notice at 6 here and at negative 6, we hit the x-axis. So if we know the vertex is at 0, 9, the x and y intercepts are at positive 6 and negative 6, that gives us a really good indication of what our graph is doing. To graph our linear function, that's the one you see here in red. Um, that is the line negative x plus 6. So you would start at 6, go down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. Um, it also hits the x-axis at 6. Now, the main thing when you are graphing two functions and trying to find the area that is bounded by those two functions that we see right here, it's really key to see where do they intersect. So you're thinking, where do those functions um, have equal values? So just set 6 minus x equal to 9 minus x squared over 4. Now let's go ahead and solve for those. So we know what our uh, boundaries are going to be on our integral. Okay. So um, what I would do is I would get rid of the 4. Let's multiply everything in this equation by 4. So we get 24 minus 4x equals 36 minus x squared. Let's move these two pieces to the left so that our x squared will become positive. So we get x squared minus 4x. 24 minus 36 is 8, and it would become a uh, negative 8. And then... Um, no, it isn't. I'm sorry. Um, 24 minus 36 is, is minus 12, I think. Sorry, I was doing something weird. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so that's 12. And then uh, factor that, you get x minus 6 and x plus 2. Because 6 and 2 multiplied give you 12, but have a difference of 4. So we have intercepts at 6 and if we plug 6 into either of those, you get 0. I'm going to plug it into either equation because it's their uh, matching points. It's where they're, they're equal, where they intersect. And so if you plug negative 2 in, you get negative 2. So that's good to know. Now, once we know their points of intersection, we've done all this work. Now I'm going to make this a little smaller here so I have a little bit so we know what the graph's like. We have the intersection. Let's stop right here. We have the intersection. You know, so all these things are, are helping us because now we can uh, set up our integral. So remember the area between the curves is the starting, the leftmost x, negative 2, the rightmost x, positive 6, and it is the upper function, the top function, which happens to be 9 minus x squared over 4, minus the lower function, negative x plus 6. 
Now we have a subtraction between those two functions, so let's go ahead and distribute that. So we get 9 minus x squared over 4 plus x minus 6. Combine any like terms. The only like terms there I see is the 9 and the negative 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. And then you just have to take the general antiderivative. So if we do the antiderivative, we're going to get 3x minus x cubed. But now we have to divide by 3. So the 4 that's already there will be multiplied by that 3. And then our x uh, becomes an x squared over 2. Now we're going to plug those values in. And we're going to plug those values in, um, uh, upper bounds minus lower bounds. So we get 18 6 to the third is 216, so that's 216 divided by 12. And then that's 36 divided by 2 minus when we plug in negative 2. When we plug in negative 2, we get negative 6. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, and that's going to become a positive 8. And the negative 2 squared is going to become a positive 4. And there's lots of simplification. But if you go and combine all of that stuff, you get 64. So that is the area between those two thirds, 64 uh, cubes square whatever those units are. They didn't tell us if they said that was inches or feet or if they represented any of those things. It would be square feet or square inches or whatever it happens to be. So there is example 6.2. So the graph's important. The intersection's important. What functions I'm talking, one function is on the ball.